In addition to civilian fireman Robert Reed, the SS President Coolidge suffered one military casualty on October 26, 1942, Artillery Captain Elward Ewart. Although there are many versions of events, there is no doubt that his actions were heroic. As the Coolidge proceeded to list to port, Captain Ewart was inside the ship assisting his men to safety along a foyer and outer door located on the starboard side. Warrant Officer Robert Moshimer, Lieutenant Ward MacDonald, and Captain Warren Colville came to his aid. With the ship listing heavily, Moshimer threw a rope down the foyer which the men used to pull their way out. With all the men safely out of the ship, Captain Ewart tied the rope around his waist. Suddenly, the ship rolled, and what had been a flat horizontal foyer was now a vertical shaft. Captain Colville and Officer Moshimer tried to pull Captain Ewart to safety, but were too exhausted. Then the rescue boat, realizing that it would be sucked down by the sinking ship, gave a last despairing warning to the few remaining men on the Coolidge. The men assisting Captain Ewart didn't even turn around. They had heard the warnings clearly, but felt they could not leave the captain behind. As the Coolidge slipped out of sight, all of these men went down with her. All rose to the surface, except Captain Ewart. Captain Elward J. Ewart was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, and a memorial to him stands on the shore near the site of the SS President Coolidge. And that's the big thing, you now they say out of over 4,000 men, only two men lost their lives. And a lot of it, that was accredited to Captain Nelson for thinking, uh, you know, fast enough to, uh, to uh, have the ground, to ground the ship. And, and he thought to get it as close to shore as possible. And they and stayed up for an hour and 20 minutes which gave the men plenty of time to get off the boat. <laughs> 